Fernando Gonzalez on a five fight win streak in Bellator, which is incredibly impressive. And he's done it the same way every time, planting his feet, throwing combinations, daring his opponent to stand toe to toe with him in trade. This guy finished Carl Parisian, outboxed Marius Aramskis, both incredibly dangerous strikers. What he does is that he plants his feet. Very few fighters do this in MMA. They walk forward and they go, okay, we're gonna stand right here, nose to nose, and we're gonna trade. And I'm not gonna take a backward step. If you're willing to do that and test what you got against me, I'm gonna beat you. Not a lot of fighters have that grit. Not a lot of fighters have that confidence. He does. He really believes that toe to toe, he can beat anyone in Bellator, anyone in MMA. This guy who stood and traded in a kickboxing match with Paul Semtex Daly. Showed no fear at all. Stood right in the pocket, throwing big punches. He didn't care at all. In the Gilbert Smith fight, he faced a guy who was stocky, strong, big, with versatility, a guy with a good takedown. And there were times in that fight where Gilbert Smith got the takedown, was able to work his top game. And Fernando Gonzalez never seemed overwhelmed. You never saw him mentally go, man, I'm in a bad spot. What am I gonna do here? I gotta win this fight on the feet. Here I am on the ground trying to work from my back. He never did. He has a lot of confidence so no matter what happens in a fight, Eventually, you're gonna have to stand with me. And when you do, I will not just win those minutes, I will win the fight. So this is a guy coming in with not only a lot of confidence because of the streak he's on, he has confidence because of the way he has won fights. The adversity he has overcome, the names he has overcome, nothing has intimidated him in the Bellator case, so don't expect anything to intimidate him now.